All right, so I wanted to share with you guys my findings for 30 days. A bit of an introduction, my name is Osa Greco Sinare. I'm a travel and lifestyle photographer based in Arusha, Tanzania. And I've been on the Instagram platform for about 10 years now, 10 plus years. Uh, the way I posted has changed and also the platform has changed quite a bit. And I thought it would be cool to do a bit of a challenge. The reason why I wanted to do the challenge was because I was losing interest in posting on Instagram. And the longer it took for me to post, the more I didn't want to post because I don't know, it just felt like it didn't matter anymore. The algorithm has changed, uh, Instagram has changed. They want uh, creators to share more videos, uh, more video content, and it was a bit frustrating. It wasn't the same. So I thought, why not do a 30 day challenge? And the challenge incorporated photos and also reels. Uh, and I didn't really engage much in stories and I thought it would be really great for me to share with you what I found after posting for 30 days straight. Did it help me? Did it improve my engagement on my page? Would I recommend it to you as a creator? Um, let's find out. So first things first, like I don't want to take a lot of your time. I want to make this short and sweet. Uh, the results of the challenge, first of all, like if we go into the insights over here, uh, I will share with you what has happened in the 30 days. In the 30 days, I was able to see about an increase of uh, engagement or reach of 114%. And I think that makes sense in comparison to the previous 30 days, which were between uh, March 4th and April 2nd. Um, I got, I guess, less because I wasn't posting much. So the more you post, the more engagement and reach you'll get. The total reach I got was 106,000 uh, different accounts checked my profile. And from the statistics here, I can see that they all come from where I'm from, like Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. Uh, and even if there are non-followers, they're from the same region. So. That is a bummer, first of all, because then I'm not really reaching any audiences outside of Tanzania. Uh, if I look at the cities, I'm reaching Nairobi, then Arusha, then the least is Zanzibar, which was 1.3%. And then over here for the countries, Tanzania at 74%, Kenya, U United States, United Kingdom, really, really low. So 74.4%, then 6.4, and it just decreases. So I'm not reaching audiences outside of my country, which kind of is a bummer. When it comes to the post over here, I can see that the reels are actually reaching, the engagement for the reels or the reach or the reels was the same amount, 72,000 uh, for the reels and 76,000 for the post. I did more posts than reels, but the reels reached nearly the same uh, amount of reach as the content that I shared for post. And they did the same amount of reach, that's insane. For the stories, um, I didn't do a lot of posts, but as you can see with stories, you're only reaching your audience. So you can see here that um, I was only reaching most of my followers and very few non-followers. And here I can see that, so if you wanna reach uh, audiences outside of people who follow you, definitely do some posts, put the right hashtags, five to 10 hashtags. And for the reels, the same thing. Uh, but reels definitely are the way to go if you want to reach new people. Uh, so that was kind of like the overview. In terms of engagement, it went up by 57.8%, which is the same because I was engaging more, I was sharing more. And total followers actually didn't grow a lot. It's 0 0.5, I think. When I started, I was at 86,100, and then now I'm at 86,300. So the growth for the followers was not really that crazy. All right, so that was the results. And I think from that, I realized that reels are doing really well. If you want to grow and you want to connect with people who are not following you, definitely do reels. Um, I think stories could do better if you want to engage with your current audience. Uh, so you have to do a lot more stories. And what I've realized is that the more people can see your icon on the, when they open the, the app, the more engagement you'll get in your stories, which means you have to post a lot of stories, right? Because if you're not posting a lot of stories, then you're not being seen. Uh, so definitely post a lot more. And then when I'm looking at the challenges or the cons that I didn't really like was the fact that 
um, that it was only a geographical location of Tanzania. I wanted to reach more people outside of Tanzania. And Instagram is really showing people, showing content to the people who are just in my area or people searching for the content in my area. So if I were to want to grow outside of Tanzania, I wouldn't really engage uh, on a platform like Instagram. I'll try a different platform and I will share that in the conclusion for this video. Uh, cons as well, from a creator's perspective, if I've invested so much in my gear, I've realized that a lot of the content that I was sharing, uh, which were shot by the phone, did better than the, for the content that I shared with uh, uh, stuff that I've shared with my gear, like my drone or my camera. So a lot of the content that I shared on Reels, which I captured with my phone, did way better than the content that I captured uh, with the gear that I spent a lot of money which is great for people starting out who don't have the gear, but also it's a great insight because it means that if you're going out there to shoot any content, I highly recommend you to also capture stuff with your phone, like behind the scenes, because that content is going to do really well. There's a drone shot here of just cows, an aerial shot of cows and donkeys and a water, uh, drinking water or cooling down. And that did really great in comparison to content that I shared, whereby like I showed, you know, a lot of different uh, amazing shots of uh, drone shots that didn't do well. So that one shot did better than multiple shots. And I think that's the con. You don't really have control on what content really does well and what doesn't do well when you post. Uh, I think there's so many things that play a role. Music, time of the day, I guess, um, the shot itself, uh, if the shot is going to stop somebody to watch it. And I think once it's stopped many enough people to watch it, Instagram will start sharing it to other people. So you don't really have a control over that, which definitely sucks. So these are the things that I've found in terms of the 30 days. Uh, let me go into the conclusion. The conclusion for this is that if you want to grow, you have to ask yourself if you're starting out as a creator on the platform and you want to grow in the area that you're in, let's say if I wanted to grow for, let's say I have a business in Tanzania and I want to get uh, customers in Tanzania, then Instagram would be the perfect, perfect place because then you are sharing and it's sharing with the people within the area. If you want to grow outside of Tanzania, then I would recommend a platform like YouTube because it's more of a search engine. And if I'm sharing content, uh, let's say to do with uh, MacBook, or if I'm sharing content that is being searched all over the world, then I will be reaching an audience that is not only based in Tanzania. I can also reach an audience based in the US, uh, I can base audiences based in the UK, different places. So if you want to grow outside of that and you want to connect with audiences outside of your geographical location, I would recommend YouTube. As well, what I realized is that if you want to have uh, engagement that is uh, deeper, you have to have conversations. You have to open up a conversation in your post. I've seen that the, the post that did really well for me, a post whereby like I shared my thoughts and I wrote something. I think sometimes you find yourself as a creator, you're just posting and maybe you're sharing um, beautiful sunrise that doesn't cut it. You have to engage, share your thoughts, uh, maybe pose a question so that you can start having a conversation and that builds the community. Uh, I feel like uh, having a stronger community of even a few people over having many people uh, is way more beneficial for you as a, as a growth, as a creator, over, over having millions of people and you can't really engage with them. So maybe consider that when you're connecting on, you, on Instagram. The final conclusion as well is that I've realized with Instagram, you really have to continue to engage. You really have to do the work of engaging on a consistent basis, uh, on a daily basis for you to get the engagement. Uh, you can't do uh, content like YouTube whereby you post today and then you post next week and you're getting nearly the same uh, engagement or even more if your video does well. It's very different. With Instagram, you really have to show up uh, I would say posting two posts a day and really engaging in your story so that you show up and then also posting reels is the best way for you to grow and really and really grow an audience on the platform. So it really depends on the ROI. I don't really see the return on investment for posting on Instagram in my particular case. I want to grow outside of Tanzania, so YouTube seems like a better pl platform for that. Um, with Instagram, also the amount of work that you have to do and the return on investment, like the amount of work that I had to do to post for the 30 days, 
if I was if I didn't have the content and I had to go shoot it, it would have cost me so much more money. Luckily, I had content on my hard drive to share. But if you're starting out, then that's a really tough situation whereby you're posting for 30 days and the followers that I got were increased was 0.05%. And the engagement was mostly, um, it was half-half. Uh, for, from the people who are currently following me and half of the people who are not following me. So, and I wasn't really reaching people outside of my ge geographical location. So though there are many, uh, I guess, cons in this situation, but I think by creating content that means something to you, uh, it, it will definitely resonate with the right audiences. There are people on Instagram searching for that content. So it really depends on what ROI you're looking in getting when you're in the platform so think about that uh, when you're you know posting on instagram let me know if this content was helpful if this overview gave you an insight of um, what it's like to post for 30 days what i gained what um, i saw as a pro pro and con for sharing uh, let me know your thoughts what do you think about instagram what do you think about instagram for creators right now um, do you think it's the place to go do you have any other platform that you think is a better place to share your photos and your videos? Uh, share it with me down below. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Again, thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on another uh, video. Remember to stay safe, stay creative. Uh, take care.